Good morning to all my viewers. This is Dr. Puru Dhawan and I am back with yet another engaging topic related to kidney disease. Today I will be discussing with you all what exactly is polycystic kidney disease. With this I will also explain all the signs and symptoms associated with polycystic kidney disease and the tips to slow it down. Polycystic kidney disease is a hereditary illness that caused patient's kidney to develop many cysts. Being a progressive disease, the kidney and the cyst grow with time, leading to progressive loss of blood filtering ability. With the cyst formation, the size of the kidneys become enlarged. Over time, the size of a normal kidney is around 10 cm as compared to polycystic kidney affected kidney which can measure up to 20 cm. Our kidney contains thousands of small working units known as nephrons which are responsible for the internal function of the kidney. The cyst formations hampers the nephrons, gradually decreasing the kidneys, overall functioning and causing multiple complications. Further, there are the cysts put immense pressure on the nephrons, forcing them to function at a lower rate, resulting in a higher level of creatinine and urea. Now, there are two classifications of the polycystic kidney disease. First is autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. In this type, one of the parents also suffer from the disease which is why the child also end up having it. The other is known as autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease in which none of the parents are carrier of the disease yet cyst function can be seen in the child. Moving on the cause of polycystic kidney disease. When the functioning of the kidney starts to go down, there is an accumulation of waste mineral inside the body. As I mentioned earlier as well, if the level of the creatinine and urea increases, it can lead to medical complications like muscle spam, nausea, vomiting, bad breath and many others. A patient suffering from polycystic kidney disease can very well keep these levels in control to avoid such symptoms. The easiest way is to work on increasing the level of kidney functioning so that the waste material can be treated and thrown out at a regular intervals. Now to increase the level of kidney functioning, it becomes essential for a patient to pay extra attention to take care of the nephrons. As we all know that cyst formation takes place in polycystic kidney disease patient. These cysts are filled with the fluid. Therefore, it becomes essential to lower the pressure in these cysts so that the functioning of the nephrons can be increased, thereby increasing kidney functioning. The procedure often followed to decrease the pressure in these cysts is to drain the fluid inside so that the external pressure reduces. With the decreasing pressure, the kidney starts to function better thereby not letting the level of creatinine and urea increase. With PKD, there is another disease that progresses along with the same lines, known as simple cortical cyst. In this type, cyst formation occur only on the outside of the kidney compared to the polycystic kidney, wherein the cyst can be formed both on the outer and the inner surface. Another striking feature of the polycystic kidney disease is that the cyst can form on the liver as well which will not happen in a patient suffering from simple cortical cyst. Also with simple cortical cyst, the cyst hardly hampers the structure of the kidney. Wherein PKD, the size of the kidney can increase up to 20 cm as I mentioned earlier in the video. Although people can usually get confused by the reports of these two diseases. With the difference mentioned above, it will be really easy for an expert to diagnose it correctly. If you have PKD, both kidney will be impacted. However, one kidney may develop cyst before the other. The cyst expands gradually, making the kidney bigger and reducing healthy renal tissue. This makes it more difficult for your kidney to function correctly. As a result of PKD, some patients acquire excessive blood pressure and ends stage renal disease. PKD affects both men and women equally, and the cyst can appear at any age depending upon the kind of. PKD. So all polycystic kidney disease patients need to understand how to make the kidney function effectively and live a healthy life. If an individual suffer from kidney disease and high blood pressure, the kidney functioning get affected faster. You must get frequent checks and communicate with your doctor. A well-balanced diet makes it simpler to manage PKD with maintaining physical fitness all the time. 
Now concluding to this video, I hope I was able to explain everything thoroughly and tell you all about the risk associated with the polycystic kidney disease. I would recommend taking precautions and leading a healthy lifestyle to keep the symptom in control. In the following video, I will elaborate on the method of treatment that should be adopted by an individual who are suffering from polycystic kidney disease. With this, we also look at the prevention tips and lifestyle changes that a patient should make to enhance their standard of the living. Still, if there are any doubts that you want me to answer, feel free to leave your comments in the section below and I will try and answer all of them. Till then, take care and I will see you in the next time with another interesting video related to the kidney health.